This is the driver's uh, cockpit layout. And the chair does have arms that come down. I'm just pulling them back up out of the way. But um, this is the starter switch right here. This is the emergency stop switch, which when you trip that, it drops a flap across the air intake of the engine and shuts down the diesel in case you got a, had a runaway diesel or something like that. This is the master switch, which turns on all of the power uh, from the, the batteries to the bus system. And then you've got, um, this is the fast idle. And, no wait, what is that one? Oh, I'm sorry. This is the alarm disable. So when you first start the coach, you get a lot of alarms that sound uh, until the air gets up to 90 and stuff like that. And to keep that from being annoying, uh, you can flip that alarm disable switch. Now all of your lights on the dash will still blink showing you that you've got a, an alarm situation. And then this is the fast idle, which when you flip that up, once your air is built up, uh, you can flip that up and it'll rev, rev your engine up uh, to a little bit higher RPM. Um, it's used for mainly when you had the bus air conditioning in there. It would keep uh, it running fast enough to keep the air uh, enough uh, voltage on the alternator to run the air conditioner. Um, this is the uh, headlights, the marker lights. They're separate. Um, this is the defroster, the sun visor on the driver's side. It'll raise and lower the sun visor. This is the fan. There's a fan up above up here uh, that, let me just show you. See the fan right there? It's just a little RV fan. And it'll, you can turn it on to high or medium. This is the backup camera. The backup lights. Hazard lights. A, let's see. Shut off disabled, night lights, and I'll show you those night lights in a minute. The left side lights, there's uh, lights on the outside of the coach that you can light up the left hand side of the coach or the right hand side of the coach. It's really handy if you're trying to uh, park your coach at night in a camping spot or you're going out to do your hookups, you can flip that switch and a light will come on on the side of the coach to give you ample lighting on the outside. And then like I said, here's the starter switch right here. So once you flip your master, you push that and you get, it'll start the engine. Right up above the switches, there's uh, these little, well, let's see if I can get, get one of them to flip for you. You can flip through, see the little holes in there? What that does is when you open this and you turn the defroster on, you can defrost the side window like that. It'll let the air come up and hit that. I don't think I've ever actually used it. And then you have a little side window over here so you can pay tolls and talk to people at the window and that type of thing. Then on the dash, let me show you that a little closer. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so on the dash across the top, you've got all your indicator lights, 24 volt generator that it's working. And any of the ones that are red, I did all the all of them red. Okay, the all right, the original indicator lights were all incandescent bulbs, which of course can fail on you. So we replaced them with uh, LEDs. So anything that lights up red is a bad thing. Anything that lights up green is a good thing. So the 24 uh, volt generator. It has a red light on it. It's going to come on until the air pressure builds up and gets enough uh, air pressure in the uh, arm to uh, tighten the belts and then the generator will start and that light will go out. Then uh, that the high beams come, comes on blue when you uh, put it on high beams. That's over here on the side. You'll change that to high beams or down there. At the, I'm sorry, it's on the foot, down in the front in the foot like a normal, well, <laughs> not normal anymore, an older style car. You got a left turn signal and then a stop light for when you hit your brakes, a right turn signal, an emergency, an emergency brake light, that's red telling you the emergency brake, emergency brake is on when you pull that. And then uh, another indicator there to show that you have your backup lights on in case, you know, you wouldn't want to leave your backup lights on while you're driving down the road and blind people behind you. So there's just an indicator that shows you that. The gauges are the oil pressure, 
air pressure, that's for your brake systems and your, all of your air systems on the bus, your temperature, your speedometer, and your uh, fuel uh, level, diesel fuel level. And then down here are two other indicators, and that's your tag axle air, showing that you have air to uh, both of your tag axles, because you can uh, turn those off and raise them up so that you put all of your uh, weight onto your drive axle in case you wanted to do that and so there's switches in the back and if you turn those off that's going to indicate to you that you don't have ample pressure in your tag axles. Now down here just on the floor is a, a knob right there for uh, your high beams and then back here you hit this with your heel of your foot and that will sound the air horn and then this right here is a switch I mean it's not a switch it's a valve that allows hot water to circulate um, through the core up here for a heater um, for the for the driver and also for the defrost. Now just to the driver's right this is the emergency brake or your parking brake. You flip this switch to engage a washer fluid this is your windshield wipers right and left and this has the original air motors, the Sprague air motors uh, that run your uh, windshield wipers and so the more you turn it the faster they're supposed to go. Now that varies depending on what your air pressure is at the time. Down here is an indicator for all of your electrical systems. So 24 volts is set at zero right now because and there's no green light and that's because uh, I don't have the batteries connected outside. I've got the master turned off out there. This is your 12 volt system right there. And that just turns the meter on and off. And then this is the 110 volt system right there. Again, and you can turn that one on and off. And then the last thing over here is this is the diesel generator. That's your hour meter of how many hours are on the diesel generator which is currently 310 hours. And then this is how you start the generator. You flip it up and hold it until it starts. If it's cold weather, you push it down and that heats the glow plug. You hold it to a count of five and then push it up. And then this switch right here turns the inverter on if you wanted your inverter on for some reason. And there, there are uh, some outlets in the front that are run by the inverter can't run a whole lot of amperage off of it, but in, if you were wanting to run a computer or something like that, um, that it would be available for that. Okay, so one of the cool things about owning a bus is you have the handle to open the door. And when you have your air pressure up, there's a clamshell that uh, grabs the door and pulls it in tight when you're going down the road. It keeps down air noise and also is a safety feature. This is the clamshell lever right here that when you activate it, it grabs this part of the door right here and pulls it in tight and keeps it so you can't open the door. And that's controlled by this uh, little red switch right here. So that's off and that's on. But when you open the door, you get this really cool noise. You hear it go and it makes that noise outside. All right, this is the co-pilot seat. And from the co-pilot seat, you have a couple of controls right over here. This, this controls the fan, high and low speed on your fan that'll blow on the co-pilot. This is the sunshade up and down. And then there's a switch right here that turns the light on outside. And then there's a magazine rack here that you can put maps in um, and things like that. Now, the co-pilot uh, does have a little rest for their feet here. And so they don't have to sit all crunched up like that. It does slide out. It gives them a nice, comfortable place to rest their feet. Up above the co-pilot is a light that you can switch on here. It gives a nice bright light for reading maps or something like that when you're going down the road or just sitting here reading. Well, I hope you're finding this uh, series interesting and you'll continue to watch all of the parts of it. And as usual, thank you for watching.